Ask anyone working in aviation, and they will tell you that 2020 was a horrible year. But it hasn't just been hard on the aviation sector. The traveling public has suffered as well. As the aviation industry slowly recovers in 2021, be sure to be on the lookout for these brand spanking new planes that are about to hit the market. Can you guess which new aircraft will be number one? Hi everyone, and welcome to Fly Marshall, a channel that is focused on everything to do with aviation. We bring you the latest in aviation, from the skies to the terminals and every red eye in between. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like as we upload new videos weekly. With just a simple click, you can help the YouTube algorithm spread our message far and wide so we can reach more passionate aviators. So, to all our subscribers and viewers so far, Thank you! 10. Boeing 737 MAX 8 The first and the most produced variant of the MAX generation of Boeing's best-selling jet was introduced into service in May 2017. All of them were grounded in early 2019 after two tragic crashes. Ungrounded in 2020 and with fixes that will address the aircraft's fatal flaw, MAX 8s will be some of the newest jets flying in 2021. With over 2,000 orders and a range of 3,550 nautical miles (6,570 kilometers), this aircraft will be the workhorse of many airlines around the world. 9. Boeing 737 MAX 9 the larger and newer variant of the MAX was introduced in March 2018 and will remain the largest and the newest in service until the introduction of MAX 10, which should happen in 2021. Three meters longer than the 737 MAX 8, this aircraft can carry up to 220 passengers, and Boeing claims it can carry more cargo than an Airbus 320. 8. Airbus A330-900 Striving to compete with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Airbus refurbished their best-selling wide-body airliner, giving it the NEO treatment with new and efficient engines. The A330-900, the first and the largest of them, entered service in December 2018. With 316 orders, expect to see this aircraft flying more frequently once the pandemic is over. Boasting a 7,200 nautical mile (13,334 kilometer) range and a maximum takeoff weight of 251,000 kilograms, Airbus is hoping this widebody sells just as well as the A330 CEO current engine option. 7. Embraer E195E2 at least until Embraer sorts out the E-175E2, the E-195E2 will remain the company's newest creation and arguably the world's most modern regional jet. It entered into service in December 2019, although just a handful of them are operational. With an impressive 2,655 nautical mile 4,917 kilometer range and claims of a 22% lower than a 154-seat A320neo, and 24% below a 160-seat 737-8, this aircraft is surely going to shake up regional aviation travel. Do you love aviation? Then show the world with official FlyMarshall.com gear. Pick your favorites from luggage tags, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, bath mats, to even pillows. There is so much to choose from, so come check it out now. FlyMarshall.com has everything you need and so much more. Proudly printed in the USA, we offer fast shipping right to your door. Use the discount code HAPPY for 10% off your first order. Links are in the description. Six, Airbus A330-800. The only new airliner introduced in the plague-ridden year of 2020 the A330-800 is the smallest variant of the A330-NEO. 
The first plane was delivered in October 2020 to Kuwait Airways, remaining the newest airliner to enter service. With 2021 on track to be much better for the aviation sectors, Airbus is hoping to sell more of this variant to airlines around the world. But her bigger sister, the Airbus 330-900, has taken the lion's share of the orders. 5. Boeing 737 MAX 10 Boeing's newest airplane spent almost two years on the ground, following two fatal crashes. Now, after its ungrounding, the work on previously undeveloped versions will resume. The 737 MAX 10, the largest version of the MAX, was quietly rolled out in late 2019. Its maiden flight will most likely happen in 2021, and there is a chance the plane may enter production soon. With 240 orders, Boeing is hoping that customers will order more aircraft and replace older 737s currently in service. 4. COMAX C919 In late 2020, the Chinese competitor to Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 received type inspection, authorization, and proceeded with the final stretch of testing. COMAC plans the aircraft to receive the type certification in 2021 and start mass producing the airplane. The first deliveries to domestic carriers should happen the same year, giving the Chinese public a possibility to fly on a new domestically produced airplane. The manufacturer has 305 confirmed orders, plus 703 options, allowing the COMAC C919 to be positioned strongly in the Chinese domestic market. It boasts a health range of 4,075 kilometers, 2,200 nautical miles, and a cruise speed of 0.785 Mach. 3. Irkut MC-21 2021 is going to be a good year for narrow-body aircraft. In addition to the full return of Boeing 737 MAX, the development of Airbus A321 XLR and the deliveries of COMAX C919, the Russian competitor of the above, the MC-21, will see a lot of developments too. According to Russian authorities, current plans are for the aircraft to receive the type certification at the end of 2021, which will be preceded by a lot of testing with both Western-made engines and the domestically produced PD-14. Currently, most of the orders are from various Russian airlines and the manufacturer claims to offer 25% fuel savings compared to the 737NG and the A320 CEO. 2. II-96400M The II-96400M is a modernized version of Soviet-era Twin Isle airliner. It is likely to be the only new large airplane to take to the skies in 2021. The completion of its prototype was due to be by the end of 2020, with its maiden flight scheduled for 2021. With an impressive 390-seat capacity, this jet manufacturer is betting on the return of long distance and high capacity travel soon. 1. Airbus A321 XLR It is unlikely the Boeing 797 or any other new mid-sized plane is going to be built anytime soon. Airbus response: the A321 Extra Long Range XLR. This stretched and overhauled version of the A321neo is going to become the longest flying single-aisle airliner ever. It was announced in 2019 and rapidly gathered over 240 orders by mid-2020. The range is beyond impressive, and there is nothing that can match it. At 4,700 nautical miles 8, kilometers, in a two-class configuration, this aircraft is going to be a game-changer by offering mid-range flights that once could only be done by bigger aircraft at higher costs. Airbus announced plans for its maiden flight in the second half of 2021 in preparation for the certification and eventual deliveries that are scheduled for 2023. What aircraft are you most excited about flying on? Leave your comments below. Remember to hit that like button, and if you're in the airline industry, you're going to want to subscribe. Click that notification bell if you want to be the first to see our regular content.